But douche. Uh, so I got the, the Cyclone face guard last night, right? I got the gem boys 12% spill crit and 3% increased critical damage. This is absolutely absurd. Elemental shamans are all about the crit boys, okay? And we're also gonna put this bad boy in here because then we get the socket bonus, which is spill damage and healing, and we get the spill crit and spill damage. Bro, how much do I have? How much am I gonna have unbuffed? Like 31%? 31% percent crit unbuffed not a single buff guys bruh dude i swear man and the thing is boys this synergizes so well with the lightning capacitator guys and if you don't know what the lightning capacitator is you gain an electrical charge each time you you damage a um with a crit and then when you reach three of those cha charges, you unleash a lightning bolt which does like 900 damage i tried it a little bit last night guys this thing together with the overload procs, there is a chance when there's like lots of mobs and stuff like that, that you unironically just get like four, five crits, like 2k, 2k, 3k, 4k, 1k, like it, brrr, like instantly, dude. And you just do like so much damage, man. Uh, I need to, uh, I need to get the rep, right? Because I'm, I'm trying to get the, uh, the TK attunement, like SSC and TK on my shaman here. And I think uh, I need to do a bunch of these dungeons here as well here. So let me just do some shadow laps because there's like a billion shadow laps doing uh, running right now. Yeah, actually, I'll, 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 I'll be down to like do some shadow laps here, man. Like I'm on, a, I'm actually down because like uh, I need rep. Because like if you if you look at my rep, I have only 4k rep. I think this the thing is as well about the uh, the uh, capacitator is that it, it it can proc on like multiple crits, right? So if I crit like four mobs with an AOE spell, they're all gonna get like blasted, right? No, in, if we're doing like uh, uh, if we're doing rep runs, are we clearing just to the first bar or like second bars and then like resetting or what's going on here? Because I think in terms of efficiency, that's that's the most efficient you can do, right? Yeah, if you want to make it as efficient as, as possible, you know. Yeah, I think we're doing to second bars and then resetting, right? That in terms of like efficient like rep, that's the best you can do because like the last part of this uh, dungeon is like pretty freaking aids. Nothing is efficient with two rogues in one group. But the thing is, man, listen, you you got you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Invite the little rogues, you know, get them in, help them out, you know. We can't be disrespecting of all these people, yeah? As 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 a fury warrior, okay? As a warrior that has... Uh, as a person that has tried to get into many dungeons on my warrior and had people tell me no, because I'm a warrior, okay? I don't want to be that guy that, like, you know, don't take in other people and stuff like that, okay? The rogue life is hard, man. It's because people are on, like, you know, ever since Classic WoW finished, people are so on, 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 on out on such, like, a... Uh, a vendetta against like rogues and warriors because like they're not like as like overly dominant as they were before right all right let's go boys let's uh, clean this room up easy clap here oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> that was twenty thousand damage right there <laughs> yo dude i like that i like that dude a lot Okay, I really, really do, man. Holy cow. Let's clear this up here, man. Get it up. Get it nice and cleaned up. Don't kill my totem. If, so if anyone kills my totem, I will sue you. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, dude. All right. We can actually get revered pretty fast because this group is clearing it pretty fast. We're doing pretty well here. Uh, this is my final faction I need to get revered with. Once I'm exalt, like revered with this thing, then I just need to do like uh, my entire, like uh, my th my thing, right? I need to do the entire quest chain for the thingamajig and then just do all the dungeons and stuff like that. And then it's like, uh, it's gravy town, as they say. Ah, CBA, man. That's just a per macro. It's fine. I'm just going to tank it, dude. It's, it's uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's all good. We're, we're training for the future when we're going to be tanking on the shaman here. Dude, I can't stop DPSing. Like, that this doesn't work like that. If I stop DPSing, I'm not doing damage. All right, we got it done. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and reset and then uh, go again. So we got 1.4k rep for this, that run. It's not bad, actually. That's, that's actually not bad. And the run took, like, what, 20 minutes?
Let's see how fast a run in. Let, let, let's just time this last run here to see how fast we do one run. Because I think it's it's pretty flipping fast how fast we're doing it. Especially with the setup we have right now. Ellie Shaman, two Warlocks, and a Paladin tank. Like, we're clearing this very very fast we started a timer here and we're gonna see how fast it goes and we're just gonna run through it real fast and see how, how long it takes to get revered i like to get the last run done i guess we need one or more reps so we are gonna get revered but we're gonna see how, how fast it takes yeah, that pelotang is pumping man he's keeping thread very well actually somehow he's managing to keeping thread and all that i guess it's because like all the warlock damage just comes at the end like when, when all the uh, the seeds pop they just all like do it at the same time right yeah okay, i think we're actually gonna get revered after this pack right now I think we should get revered off of this. Hold. Ah. Is there anything more satisfying, guy, than getting the nice new tick of like getting a new, uh, a new, a new bar in the uh, reputation? All right, we got revered, boys. Let's just finish this run real fast. See how long it's gonna take us, and then uh, revere. We, we, we revere. We got it done, dude. Just like that. Easy clap. And people say it's hard to farm rep. People say it takes a lot of time, bro. We just got that done in, like, no time whatsoever, man. Dude, it's, it's been five minutes and we're already at the first boss. Sh sheesh! Nice. How many of these spirit shards did we get? We've gotten 16 spirit shards. That's not too bad. You know what I think they should do, guys? They should make lightning, chain lightning hit infinite targets. I think that would actually, that would make it a lot fair. That would make it a lot more fair, I think, if they did do that. Just make chain lightning hit infinite targets. Because, like, why do warlocks have, like, an ability that can just hit, like, like, fucking insane? And, like, we don't, we don't, right? Yeah, exactly, the same with whirlwind. Do, do the same with whirlwind as well. Uh, I'm gonna save my, uh, icon until after this, uh, yeah. Okay. Man, let's fuck this boss, man. Okay. Okay. Why? Dude. <laughs> Hello? Oh, yeah. Don't worry about it, man. It's not like I saved my cooldowns or anything like that. That's all good, dude. All right. That's actually pretty fast, though, guys. 11 minutes for one run. 11 minutes for one single run. And you get, like, 1.3k rep per run. That's actually really, 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 really good rep per hour. Holy cow, nice. All right, uh, where's my key at? Okay, there it is. We have now unlocked all the heroics. Yeah, we've unlocked all the heroics now, so we can do every single heroic. Uh, all except Keepers of Time. I'm not doing that, though. But, you know, it's pretty good. That's pretty good, man. Nice. Easy clap, boys. Easy clap.